Sony finally revealed the PS4 Pro and PS4 Slim for India. If you include the already available original PS4, gamers will have three PS4 consoles to choose from for some time, as the original PS4 will continue to be on sale until stocks last. Which PS4 is right for you, or does it make no difference? We explain. The PS4 Slim sells for the same price as the original PS4, 27,990 rupees, and it gets you a 500 GB console, while 32,990 rupees gets you the 1 terabyte version with 3 games at the very least. At the moment, there are two original 1 terabyte PS4 bundles to choose from. Both offer Infamous Second Son, while one has Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, the other has Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2. On the other hand, the PS4 Pro costs 38,990 rupees. This console also has 1TB of storage and there's no 500GB variant. Though you're paying another 6,000 rupees above the PS4's 1TB version, there are no games or notable extras bundled with the PS4 Pro. From a pure pricing standpoint, the 11,000 rupee difference between the PS4 or its slim variant and the PS4 Pro is enough to buy 4 or 5 more games and even more if you're able to purchase them during the many discounts Amazon India and Flipkart keep offering. Sony is notorious for cheaping out with each successive PlayStation console iteration, and the same applies between the PS4 and PS4 Slim. The earliest editions of the PS4 sported a glossy and matte finish which was a dust magnet. This was rectified in later versions. Though the PS4 Slim improves on this with an all matte finish, it doesn't feel as sturdy and the rounded edges give it a less flattering look compared to the original's stunning sharp rhombus design. But it's smaller, lighter and fits into a 13-inch laptop messenger bag if you need something small and compact to take on the go. The PS4 Pro sports an all matte finish as well and while it does get ridiculed for its hamburger shape looking like a PS4 Slim glued to an original PS4, we found ourselves warming up to its looks. But it's not as good as the original. If aesthetics and industrial design are high on your priority list, stick to the original PS4. The PS4 Pro touts 4K support as well as promising a more fluid experience with PSVR. HDR is supported by all three consoles. In terms of ports and Wi-Fi, there are some subtle differences which may be important depending on how you play. Both the PS4 and PS4 Slim sport a near identical feature set. You'll get the same two front-facing USB ports and an HDMI for video, an aux port for the PS4 camera, and an Ethernet port. The key difference, apart from size, is that the PS4 Slim lacks an optical out port. In its place though, the PS4 Slim has a better Wi-Fi chip which supports the 5GHz band for a more reliable connection. The PS4 Pro has all the ports of the PS4 including optical out and it also has the improved Wi-Fi of the PS4 Slim. There's an additional USB 3.1 port on the rear as well. Aside from this, it supports the faster SATA 3 specification, though in our performance comparison between the PS4 and PS4 Pro, there was very little perceptible difference in most games. If you're dependent on Wi-Fi for getting online, you're better served with a PS4 Slim or a PS4 Pro. All games that work on the PS4 and PS4 Slim work on the PS4 Pro and vice versa. However, developers may choose to take advantage of the PS4 Pro's added horsepower to allow for better frame rate and enhanced visuals. We've seen this in the likes of titles such as Rise of the Tomb Raider, Final Fantasy XV, Dishonored 2, and Neo to name a few. Popular games like Overwatch also support the PS4 Pro, but it's token at best, simply providing its UI in 4K. While Sony is getting better at communicating the PS4 Pro's benefits to developers, as can be seen with a host of new games such as Resident Evil 7 and Nier Automata promising PS4 Pro support, your mileage will vary. Boost Mode, a part of the next firmware update, promises better frame rate in games that don't have an official PS4 Pro patch. Suffice to say, if you own a 4K TV with HDR support or are extremely sensitive to frame rate drops, get the PS4 Pro. Otherwise, the original PS4 or PS4 Slim will still serve you well. If you haven't bought a PS4 yet, the PS4 Pro is the one to get, but only if you have a 4K display that supports HDR or if you need a higher consistent frame rate at Full HD. There's also an additional USB port, 
but there's also a price difference of 11,000 rupees. And that money can be put to better use elsewhere. You could get by just fine with a 500 GB PS4 or PS4 Slim if you're relying solely on buying games on disc. But if you plan on buying games digitally or play games that have updates of plenty like Final Fantasy XIV and Destiny, the hard drive space could end up being a lot more dearer. Upgrading from a 500 GB to a 2 terabyte hard drive will cost roughly 9,000 rupees, making it a prohibitive affair. So while a 1 terabyte PS4 Slim or original PS4 might seem like the odd choice in the middle, the additional hard drive space could save you some extra expenditure in a year or two. With the original PS4 finally being phased out, you can expect your local store as well as those online to offer deals on existing stock too. We'd still suggest buying it offline as you have the option of requesting the retailer to remove the games it comes bundled with for an even lower price. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Gadgets360.